Hello, it's Ksenia Mebregilovsky out of 106 Montcalm Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. It's the 11th of July, 7.42 p.m., another video communication directed to international community, uh, legal and otherwise, um, to document and to communicate my stay, so to speak, in Canada. So far, and since 2006, it's been made impossible for me to lead a normal life, okay? And when I say normal life, um, that includes um, normal things, uh, normal dignities, rights, and liberties that any a free human being would enjoy in any given country of G7, first, second, or third world, okay? And that includes safety and security of one's health, it includes uh, safeguarding of one's property, it includes getting and being able to get essential services at the time when they are needed and uh, at a reasonable price. So all of these things were made impossible for me for one reason or the other, okay? I must repeat, I was trafficked, I was effectively, and by all uh, terms and means, I was trafficked into Canada under false pretenses. I'm an ethnic Slavic female with some Ashkenazi Jewish background, some, okay, very faint, 10-15%, um, so to speak, okay? Um, I was trafficked and I was subjected to ethnic cleansing. Uh, my property was trespassed over inside and outside. Um, I'm like, I can take an image of the shit that I'm excavating from my backyard soil and that effectively constitutes retaliation by certain parties that belong to my former employer or employers in collusion or on their own. So they effectively spread shit all over my backyard so that um, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, to make my life more costly, more difficult, uh, services inaccessible. So effectively, people like me, and I'm not going to generalize, I'm only going to speak about my case because I don't believe... Uh, um, in generalization per se, uh, it definitely does not apply to my case, okay? So I was brought here and I was tarnished. I was tarnished, I was denied essential services. All of the services that I am able to secure are performed, okay? Performed by imposters uh, with fake credentials, with fake IDs that are being sent in by unknown and undisclosed parties to perform some sort of services. So no one is um, engaging or contracting with me bona fide, okay? I am for some reason being made a persona non grata for reasons of not being able to secure essential services, not being able to defend my property or my health, okay? And again, um, I'm not talking about uh, trivial defense tactics such as uh, uh, establishing, buying and establishing uh, security cameras or uh, uh, installing new locks on the doors. No, all of those trivial measures do not work for me, okay? I'm being persecuted by intelligent services, police or some other authorities that for some reason made me a persona non grata, okay? So I am not able to secure normal services at the terms that satisfy me and that suit me, my culture, my ethnicity, my background, my wants and my needs, and instead I am being uh, constantly tarnished, um, sort of maliciously infiltrated or associated with this or that, my telephone, my online communications are being tampered for one reason or the other. I have no idea why it's being done to me. Um, and again, I am defenseless. I, I don't have the means or the opportunities to defend my life appropriately and in accordance to the um, the grievances and your attack tactics that are being directed at me.
okay? I do not have the means and the opportunities and the funds at disposal of RCMP, police, etc., etc., etc. So I'm being brought here to be tarnished, to be denied essential services, to be discriminated and harassed, uh, denied opportunities to employ myself and to provide for myself unless it's uh, in a setting of a refugee center, essentially, okay, where I am being uh, effectively sort of uh, smeared and slaughtered, uh, slaughtered through, um, I don't know, immigrants, immigrants, refugees that have nothing to do with Canada, they don't know nothing, don't know how to operate a business, uh, don't know this, don't know that, and I am being made a target of all these trials and tribulations so, sort of thing. So I am being denied life, effectively I'm being denied life, okay? So whatever shit I'm being, my, my backyard is still uh, being trespassed over, so someone just dumped a, a pocket, a, plastic cellophane uh, back into my yard just for the fuck of it okay and it couldn't have just flown over over the fences so to speak someone just dumped it there on a daily basis like so you know and it's easy it's easy to tarnish one's life when you're sitting here without means or opportunities to defend yourself accordingly you don't have employment, you don't have um, social assistance, everyone is ignoring you and ignoring your case, so you're sitting here being tarnished, being held in uh, um, situations and circumstances akin concentration camps and um, prisons in some countries and jurisdictions where you are defenseless, you, you can't get Police to attend to your case, you, you can get uh, legal help to attend to your case, you're being tarnished, you're being denied employment, you're discriminated against, you're being infiltrated and pushed and forced into all of the refugee center settings where you have nothing to do with Indians, Middle Easterns, Orientals, uh, with all those ethnicities that are sort of uh, both physically and mentally different from you, okay? I, yes, I look white, but don't make me a target for hate crimes, because I've been made a target for hate crimes since the very moment I was born. And no one is taking me out of these circumstances and situations that are effectively uh, equivalent to keeping me as a target for attempted manslaughter because I don't have a life. I do not have means to defend myself and I do not have a life. I don't have a, a social setting, the community who would stand for me. I don't have means to uh, reach out and to obtain normal services, Canadian services that would renovate my dilapidated house, that would at least prevent it from being ruined. I don't have means and opportunities to defend myself on the perimeter, sort of thing, okay? For all the perpetrators, and all of those perpetrators are employed by the police, the RCMP, the intelligence services, the local municipalities, the banking institutions, etc., etc., etc. I am not paying for this life. I am being kept in the shithole against my consent and against my uh, sort of uh, informed knowledge of whatever is happening to me, whatever, all the hate crimes that are being directed at me. Yes, I look white, I am Slavic, of Slavic ethnicity, but I was already subjected to abuse and ethnic cleansing in uh, what became Uzbekistan post-collapse of Soviet Union, okay? My father abandoned me, he never paid for me, he never supported, ne never developed the penny, so to speak, to support me in my life aspirations, etc., etc. My mother was effectively killed, okay, ethnically cleansed and whatever, uh, slotted in for uh, trafficking and... Um, you know, harassment by the organized crime, which is Canadian authorities, and her uh, state of health was not disclosed to me upon me entering Canada as her dependent, as her dependent, okay? So I was effectively lured and trafficked into Canada, kept here in uh, what is equivalent to a refugee center, okay? Being constantly tarnished, 
discriminated, denied employment opportunities. And to this day, it's the 11th of July, 2023, I'm 38 years old. I have not been given a single fair opportunity to get myself the life I want, I need, and I deserve, and I'm capable of, okay? So I am being maliciously tarnished by the locals for whatever reasons they see um, or they pursue, you know, for whatever goals they pursue, but this is being done against my consent and informed knowledge. This is a communication to international communities and authorities who oversee displaced persons and uh, private jails in jurisdictions all over the world. I am one of them. Ksenia Mia Bregilovsky, 106 Moncom Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada.